Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome to the channel where I make how-to videos. Time to share what I've learned and I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of the character animation how-to series. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the skeletal editor to create our own skeleton. We will cover the following. How to enable the plugin, convert static mesh to a skeletal mesh, how to create and edit bones, how to influence the vertices of the mesh by skin weight painting. Let's go. So here I have the skeletal editor usage guide. I'll drop a link in the description below. Uh, basically this runs through all of the feature of this experimental editing tool. Take note that this is only available on UE 5.3. So here I have a third person template. I already imported an asset and I only imported it as a static mesh. Check my previous video on how to import character model as a static mesh. If I open up this one, it would just be a plain static mesh. There's no bone information. Previously, you would need to go to your third party editing tools like Blender or Maya and then uh, add the bone information or the skeleton there and then weight paint it and then bring it back to Unreal Engine. But with this experimental feature, you could now do this all within the engine. So first you need to go to the plugins here and then search for skeletal mesh and then enable this plugin. Once you enable it, uh, go ahead and restart. Just note that this is still experimental. Once you restarted the project, you could go back to the content drawer to the static mesh and when you right click you now have this option to convert to skeletal mesh go ahead and do that and you'll be presented with this option uh, you could create a new skeleton use an existing skeleton or use existing skeletal mesh so for this video i'm just going to cover create new the other two options i'll probably cover in a future video so once you click on convert it's going to create two assets it's going to create a skeleton and a skeletal mesh. So if I open the skeleton here, uh, you would see in this window that we only have a root bone. Uh, you could go ahead and rotate that. You would see if the mesh would follow. And if you jump into the skeletal mesh here, you would see that the editor is now different. You have these options on the right. You have the skeleton, skin, deform, model, and mesh. For this video, I'll just cover the skeleton and the skin. Uh, the other three options I'll cover in future videos as well. So if, to start adding bones, you click on the skeleton and then click on edit skeleton. Now you have two options for actions here. You have the add and you also have the edit. So the add action here works within the viewport. So if I select this root here and click anywhere in the viewport, it would create a new bone for me. So this created this joint bone. Um, and then if I click on this again and click uh, within the mesh here, it would create a new bone. My only concern with this one, with this method of adding within the viewport, is if I rotate, you would see that it added it on top of the mesh instead of within the mesh. What I like to use instead is the edit option. So within the edit options here, if I click here and click on plus icon here, I could create a new bone. It would create it on the same place as the root bone, but I could then move it, but it would be on the position that I want it. So for here, I'm going to create that bone. Um, this one, I want to create it as a pelvis. So to make your skeleton compatible with Unreal Engine, other animation packs or assets, you may need to rig it as an Unreal Engine um, skeleton. So you could go to your content drawer here and select the UE5 mannequin. You could use it as your reference. So if I open this, you would see the naming convention here is it starts with root, there's a pelvis, there's a spine, and the clavicle, thigh, and all of that. So if you want your um, skeleton to be compatible with some of the uh, UE5 skeleton, you will need to uh, create your bone in this hierarchy as well. So if I also go to the character here and go under bones and then all hierarchy, I'll be able to see how the bones was laid out. So try to replicate this or use it as your reference when you're creating the 
of bones that you have. So here, I'll go back to the scout editor here, and I'll start creating a new thigh here. So I'm gonna click uh, that plus icon, the new bone. And uh, you could also change the lit from lit the view mode from lit to unlit, so you could see clearly where. Um, the bone would be so here i created a new bone i'm going to move that there move that a little bit there so this would be the thigh so i'm keeping the naming convention as the same as the ue5 and i'm using control shortcut uh, command n create a new bone position it near here So you could change the perspective. So right here is actually the front view. And if I change perspective to front, this would be the side view. The cool thing here is you only need to do this in one section. So I did it on the left here. Now we have the option here to mirror. So if I click on mirror here, it would create it on the other section. Uh, also click the auto orient here. So Unreal Engine would auto detect uh, the right bone orientation based on your mesh. So click on accept. And if we jump, let's save. And if we jump to the skeleton here. So the only way to preview that at the moment is to the skeleton here, editor. If I click on that thigh bone, if I rotate it, you would see that the skeleton is moving, but the mesh is not moving. That's because we haven't binded that mesh to the skeleton. So to do that, go back here, go under skin, and use the bind skin um, option here. When you click on that, there's some options here that you could tweak. Um, for example, if I select the pelvis here, the highlighted one in green is saying this is the uh, mesh that would be affected by that uh, bone. Similar here similar here so unreal engine is doing this for us so if i hit accept here and save then go back to the skeleton here what i notice is if i move the thigh now some of the mesh that's not supposed to move is now moving that's because the um, binding affected the other mesh area here because it didn't know what to do so I thought there was a bug, but actually what you need to do is you add more bones. That way the mesh knows which bone it would follow. So to do that, go back to here and go back to the editor, then add the skeleton and let's add the spine. So if I reference the mannequin here, there's five spines here from 0, 01 to 0, 05. I'm going to do the same. So if I shift click on them, I have the option to rename them um, all at the same time. So if I do this, I say spine. Normally the hash uh, key should auto number it, but for some reason it's creating it as hash one, hash two. So for now, I'm just gonna say spine zero hash, and that should auto number it like so. So I'm gonna save that. Um, if I go to the um, for, um, if I go to the side view, uh, you would see that it's all lined up like this, but on the actual mannequin here, if we just rotate a little bit, you would see that the bone structure is kind of following the actual spine here. So let's do the same here. And then go back to the skin and then bind skin. And then accept it again save go back to your um, skeleton here to preview and now if you try to move the thigh now it's just distorted on this other side but at least the body is no longer um, uh, being affected by that particular mesh and if i rotate the spine it's just going to rotate it on that uh, area of the spine so next um, let's add a few more bones so go ahead and reference the um, 
UE5 mannequin here and add a few more bones like the upper arm and uh, the clavicle and the lower arm and the hand. For this video, I won't do the hands. I'm just going to do those uh, parts. Then do a bind skin. And then test it out in the editor. So you can see it still needs a few more bones. So I'm going to add some bone here on the head and the neck. I'm going to hit accept and again do the skin, bind skin, accept and let's preview that out. So let's try moving the neck here. So it doesn't look right, it needs some weight painting. So now let's go into more detail of weight painting. For example here, I'm going to focus on the thigh. So if I do the thigh here, you would see some areas of the right thigh is moving when I only want it to move on that section. So to fix that, you would need to go into more detail on the uh, edit weights. So go under skin, then click on edit weights. Uh, you have these two options here for editing mode, brush or vertices. So under brush, you'll get this uh, brush here with the hotkey of B. If I hold down the B key and then slide up the, I would increase the strength if I slide to the right I would uh, increase the radius of the uh, brush so for this one I'm gonna select the thigh here as you can see this is influencing the right side of the of the um, mesh here when it's supposed to be just the left side so if I hold down the command key I could erase and remove some of this um, weight from that bone so um, the thing with this though is you need to do it on the other side of the mesh as well so if I just quickly rotate around here you would see that you need to also remove the weight at the back so that it's uh, a bit cleaner and then let's uh, try that out so if I accept that and save and go here and try it again you would see it's a bit cleaner I think there's a few more there that needs to be clean the thing is I need to do this as well on the other side so if I select the right thigh and do this it's a it's doing the same thing so it's not being replicated properly so if I go back here and then edit weight uh, we could also try using the vertices so this tool allows us to use it uh, like so so you could drag a selection like this and within that selection everything throughout just like an x-ray would be selected and you have options here at the this side for how to want to edit that so you could uh, do an average normalize or prune so if I want to prune, you could in, uh, um, decrease or increase the threshold. So if you prune that, that would remove all the vertices on that area. If I hit accept and save, go back here. And I think I think I was still on the left eye. Now it's much more improved. Uh, let's repeat the same thing on the other thigh. So here gonna go back to edit weights I'm gonna select the thigh here and use the vertex selector select everything I'm gonna hit on prune and then hit accept save go back here now it's a bit much better but there is still some areas here that you need to improve so you probably want to add more weight on those area 
to add more weight instead of removing simply go back to edit weights I'll probably use the brush and this time just uh, click on it to darken the weight on that area so this is the one that takes a little bit of time for each bone you need to make sure it's the right weight doesn't distort as much until uh, you're happy with that uh, setting so still a bit more work here to be done here but you get the point so that's it that's how you would add a skeleton uh, to an existing static mesh by con first converting it to a skeletal mesh and then do the weight painting to adjust how the bone would affect the mesh you could do all that through the engine now so hope you like this tip thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to the channel cheers bye for now